What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the current world situation, hair systems, and some really practical advice. There is no doubt about it, there is a current shortage of hair systems out there and that has posed significant problems for many of us. Many of us have not been able to find or acquire the hair systems that we actually want in our specific hair colors and our specific densities. Those that are probably facing the most of this crunch at the beginning was those that have darker hair colors like a 1B because there's so many people using hair systems that actually have this color. Those with lighter colored hair were not feeling the crunch at first and this happened amidst the pandemic but it wasn't exactly caused just by the pandemic. It was caused by some issues with the border in North Korea where knotting was getting done for hair systems, the actual knotting of the hairs inside of the unit. Uh, this has all shifted and production lines is all changing kind of over in China, which is where most of this hair system industry is being built off of. But real quick guys, this video is sponsored by LeVivid Hair. LeVivid Hair has great customer service and they're continuing to support us and our community to get more education, to get more information and to destigmatize hair loss. If you're looking for a hair system, they still have some in stock. Use my code Jake15 for 15% off, which can save you anywhere from 40, 50, 60 dollars or even more money depending on what and how much you actually order from them. And they have great customer service. They'll get back to you, whether by phone or email within 24 hours at the maximum. So I highly recommend that you check them out. Now let's jump back into the topic, right? In this situation where uh, hair systems and specifically hair systems that are perfect for you are in short demand, how do you actually adapt to this world? How do you adapt to the current situation, which keep in mind is not for forever. So this video is gonna have a couple different parts where we talk about different strategies, right? So the first part of this video is gonna be about taking care and maintaining your current unit. So if you have a hair system or if you're new to hair systems, this information is gonna be really valuable to you. Um, if you've had a hair system for longer, it may seem like common sense, but watch it anyways. So first, be gentle with your hair system. You know, this is a product that they do have a finite lifespan and they can last longer though, if you take care of them correctly. Being gentle means many different things. So first we wanna make sure that we're not pulling the knots out of the hair system. How would we pull them out? Well, by aggressively brushing or scratching your unit. Like if you're constantly doing this right here, that can leave actual patchy areas of your hair system. And trust me, you don't want that. It's not a good look. However, this also means avoiding uh, getting knots inside of your hair system. So maintain your hair system, take care of it. Part of this is actually working out the knots that you do get inside of your hair system. Uh, tactically, the way that I do that, right, is I run a brush, a fine tooth comb through my hair, right, and I kind of seek and destroy little knots almost every single day. What I do is I run it through very gently, very calmly, and as soon as I feel some resistance, I don't pull on the unit because that could actually pull the knot, pull the hair out. What I do do is I find where there's resistance and then I take my other hand and I slowly work all the hairs out of the fine tooth comb comb until I find the knot. And when I find the knot, I separate it by pulling the actual hairs apart. That way I'm not losing any hair from the base and I can actually break up those knots. Almost 99% of the time they start to come undone like that. If the knots are continuing and it's a very, very bad one, that's something that you might have to snip a tiny bit of hair, isolate it, isolate it, and then cut that tiny bit. But most of these knots you can get out with a fine tooth comb, finding them, and then actually breaking them down yourself by your hands and not putting tension at the base of the unit on the knot, separating the hairs like so. So 
that is one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do. You're also going to want to avoid matting your hair system. And one of the biggest ways that you can change how much you get your hair matted is by actually getting a silk pillowcase. A silk pillowcase is a great idea if you're wearing your hair system while sleeping, which many of us do, not all of us, but many of us do that, including myself. I have a silk pillowcase. I bought one off of Amazon. It will get a lot more life out of your hair system. So make sure that you're doing that. Now, the last thing, in order to make sure that your unit lasts as long as possible, let's talk about the color, right? The color of your unit is going to change as it oxidizes. That's normal, it happens, it's part of the process of having a hair system. Now there's a couple different things you can do, right? Number one, prevent oxidation. Use a product like Back to Natural or another color depositing conditioner that sits in your hair for five to 10 minutes and leaves color in your hair to bring it back to its natural state. They're specific to your hair colors and they will rejuvenate your hair system with the proper color. Most hair systems turn red as they oxidize. This will deposit the proper color to counteract that. What happens though, if your system starts to actually move in the wrong direction, which is natural to happen the longer that you wear it, well, you wanna get it re-dyed. This might be something that you wanna do every two to three months. Once your unit, if it's in good condition, but the hair color starts changing, you can actually get it re-dyed to the color that you want, which you might want to visit a professional to do for a fee, and you'll get way more usage out of your same hair system. Just because the color has changed does not mean the system is dead, so to speak. So definitely consider doing that. If you have extra units, which we'll talk about in the next part, Keep your units that have oxidized, move on to your next unit, have the other unit dyed. That way you have perpetual hair systems for a while. Now the next part, you wanna prepare for this period of time, right? If you haven't prepared yet, now is the time to prepare. The supply chains and the, and the lines of production are actually picking up, but this is a good time to learn to just have some extra product on hand. It's something that will honestly feel great knowing that you always have something and it being one ahead two units ahead the whole time will inspire more confidence in you so if you do not have an extra unit right now buy one buy two if you can and if they don't have something that is the proper unit for you we're going to talk about that in the next part but something you may want to consider is actually ordering custom Custom is gonna cost you more money, but you ultimately have more choice in your hair system. The base, um, getting higher quality things integrated into your system like a diffused hairline, um, getting the proper body wave to your hair. Most units, stock units, have a 28 millimeter rod that creates a body wave. If you have curlier hair or straighter hair, this is something that you can augment. You can say, hey, I want less or more of a body wave, or I want really curly hair. So going custom could be a really interesting opportunity for you moving forward. Now let's talk about the reality that many of us are in right now, where you can't find your perfect unit in your perfect color, and you just don't know what to do. So most online hair systems that are stock come in a specified base density with color options. Now, the first thing that you're going to have to look at is changing the actual hair system. Now, what I would recommend is look for a hair system that has a similar density first, right? So if you're wearing 100% density with a manufacturer, find something that is either 100% or potentially 90 or potentially 110%. Something that has some variation, even go a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but try to stay as similar to the density as possible with hopefully the same base type. If you can't find something with similar density and a similar base type, then you're gonna to wanna to look at a different base type. Remember, the base type is probably pretty important for you to think about as you're ordering a different unit. If you're extremely active 
poly thin skin is probably not the way for you to go because it is going to be so hot. Silk will probably not be the way for you to go because it's going to be hot. If you're active, stick to your French lace, stick to your Swiss lace, stick to your hybrid units. If you are more sedentary, if you don't work out, you pretty much have a, a lot more range and a lot more option. Also depends on the weather of where you live and how hot and humid it is. But try to look for a different base unit in a similar hair color or the same hair color with similar density. Now, if all of those options are not available to you, if you cannot find a unit that has similar density, if you can't find a unit that has a similar base type that is workable for you, the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to consider is actually buying a unit with a completely different hair color. And here is what I recommend you do. Go for an edgier look. You're gonna to want to buy a very, very, very light hair system color, like as blonde as you can find in a base type that's preferable to you with the proper density. But try to find a unit that has extremely blonde hair, as, as blonde as the manufacturer will make it. And then go and bring that to a stylist. Tell them that you want to have either your color match directly to your hair or go for an edgier look that looks like it's been purposefully dyed and highlighted. This is something that a lot of people do if they're fashionable and it's something that you can consider for the time being. Make it intentional and purposeful. If you have a hair system that is not the right color for you and it's slightly off, if it's pretty far off, don't settle for that. What I would do is actually go as far as changing your own natural color to something that is closer to the hair system or go for that edgier look so that it looks like it's intentional. Intentionality is gonna be key in making it believable. If you try to mask over the fact that you have two different hair colors that are kind of similar but kind of not, that right there is where it's going to get kind of strange and a little bit iffy. So I hope that this has given you some strategies to move forward through this strange, turbulent time where everything in life is a little bit weird and strange. We can get through this. These are the strategies that I am implementing right now, and I suggest that you take a look at it. Don't be afraid of getting a edgier look though, going with some highlights inside of your head, expanding that range of what your hair system can look like. You might actually find a new fashion sense out of it. Anyways guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much to LaVivid for continuing to encourage conversation, tips, tricks, and all things hair system related. And we will talk to you soon.